hi everyone in this video i am going to show you the code unit very simple and very basic example for the code unit where you can easily understand how to implement code unit with the pages so this is the code unit which i have written that is code unit and uh, this is the template which you can easily get it simply you have to type what t t code unit so it will give you the snippet okay so here this is the code unit and to tell that this is a code unit we are going to write and this is the id and this is the code unit name okay you can write this name according to your requirement and trigger so what happens when the code unit is um, uh, when we are passing any value to the code unit this will be executed okay on run okay and initially what i'm assigning two variables that is in this code unit i'm simply adding two variables and i'm going to display it in a message so the number one is like num some number number two and i am calling the procedure which i have created the procedure here that is uh, i am passing the value of number one and number two to that procedure okay so this is what arguments this is add is a procedure which i have created and number one and number two are the arguments okay and here this your trigger trigger is stopped here and then this is the procedure this is a user defined procedure i have written add as the user defined name and num1 is the number one that is the first parameter and i am assigning this as an integer second one is a number two and i am assigning this also as an integer i am uh, declaring this as an integer okay and uh, inside this procedure because i don't want this procedure to be a uh, global procedure i don't want this variable to be a global variable so i'm assigning this total inside the variable that is inside the procedure and i am making this declaring it as an integer and when i begin i am just adding this two numbers so whatever the number which is passes to this that will be added and this value will be displayed as a message so message sum of two numbers is percentage 1 so if we are print if you are displaying any variable in the message then we have to tell like what is which variable is displaying okay even you can write number 1 if you want to display a uh, number 1 the, that is for example the sum of two numbers okay this or else sum of uh two numbers mm, yes percentage one comma percentage two this percentage three so here if you want to display three variables then you have to write like this okay so num one comma num two comma percentage I hope you can. You are getting my point, right? So, if you want to display a message, sorry, if you want to display the variable that is exact uh, data which is stored in the variable, then you have to uh, display like this. Or else, if you want to display only the total, then you can just go with percentage one. Okay, and here I am ending my procedure, and this is the global variable for this complete code unit that is number one, number two. That is what I have called it here. So, what happens when a code unit is executed? This trigger will execute okay where it will call the procedure called add and it will pass the value number one so what is there in the number one 12 is there in number one and number two 13 is there so 12 and 13 will be passed to this procedure whereas this complete uh, execution will happen okay so this is a coordinate which is simple very simple coordinate which i have created and now i have also created a page very simple page okay here you can see that i'm just displaying this is a page type as a card application area and i'm not referring to any table so i'm not i have been used any source table here and uh, default by default page will have a layout i haven't used the layout because i'm just going to use the action button okay in the action i have created an action called code unit one and if you want to make it as add okay addition okay so i have just created a code in it uh, that is action if i click that action what happens my code in it should run okay okay so this my code here in the variable if you want to call that code in it then you have to create a variable calling that code in it called code in it and this is my code in it name okay my code in it name so this my code i am using it inside the action my code dot run okay so let us execute this so if you want to execute you have to press control f5 okay now the this is executing so let us wait for that execution so it will take some time to open the browser with the busy central 
where you will be landing up uh, with the thing called what is the code we have created okay page called add to so we will open the page called add to and i'll show you like how it is working so here you can see that I have a simple page and it is having a um, thing called action. If I click that action, you can see that the action name. Okay, here what we have given is what addition as an action name. So it is showing here addition. So if I click this addition, you can see that sum of two numbers is 12, 13 is 25. Okay, because uh, I haven't given anything. I didn't show like uh, to store somewhere. I have simply given like it has to display a message okay so it displayed a message so this is how we have to we can call a create a coordinate and call a procedure inside that coordinate itself so here it is calling here this is what the function call, procedure call and here i have created the procedure and in the page from the page i am just running the code unit okay this is the complete code unit which we have created i hope you understand what is a simple code unit because uh, if you are, you are just starting to learn what is business central so it is better to understand how code unit works and then you can proceed with the higher level of thing